the desert treated both sides of the war equally harshly. Sunstorms brought our equipment to a standstill. Sickness depleted our ranks. What fuels hadn't been sabotaged by one side or the other provided barely enough water to survive the sweltering heat. The Germans put on theater shows to distract the soldiers. The British drank their tea and played chess. Both armies' resources were stretched too thin. Every drop of fuel was precious, and the fox became a scavenger. Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Company of Heroes 3 Let's Play as we continue with our North Africa operation. So we are right up to the Battle of Alamein, and Rome was pushing farther east after taking Tobruk, and we're up against the defense line of the British Army, now headed by Alkenlek, as he has regained control of his forces. He sacked Ricky, and he brought in tons of artillery. There is now Royal Air Force support. Air support for the British was very key here. U.S. made tanks continue to flood in to the battlefield, and a line was drawn at Alamein. But before that, there is the battle for fuel and resources in the desert. Now, I think what this battle referenced to is the capture of Fort Caprezzo, where Roma was able to gain a large amount of fuel by capturing this fort near the Egyptian border. And this is probably what we will see here but it feels like we're going to be destroying some fuel for the British side as well. It's a different representation because up until this point, um, technically the problem for Rommel going forward is not a lack of fuel, but a lack of tanks. As the Battle of Tobruk has exhausted most of his tanks, they need repairs. There's not enough new tanks coming in. And with American-made tank coming in to support the British and artillery being flown in as Churchill is going to really value the defense of Egypt. Eventually, Alkin Lake will be replaced by General Gott, who will get shot down in the air. And because he died going to resume command of the forces here, they sent Montgomery instead. And the rest was history from that point on. So let's hop in here and see how this battle goes. In desert warfare, it all comes down to fuel and water. Berlin wants a task force sent to Benghazi, but I have other plans. We are not wasting our resources on a meaningless spritz tour. We are taking them from the British when they least expect it. The main force responsible for this British outpost is out on patrol. It is currently guarded only by reserve forces, making this the perfect chance for a raid. The few British troops left to guard the area will be concentrated around the fuel tanks, waiting for the imminent return of their main patrol. Therefore, once we have destroyed enough of their resources to justify this incursion, we must leave before the patrol returns. We will meet at this rendezvous point along the road to the north. Needless to say, we have little access to reinforcements of our own, so we must make this a lean, fast, and destructive operation. Alrighty, so we're conducting a raid, and the band that we have are two armored cars, anti-infantry, uh, decent strength, but obviously not going to be good against armor. We have two Panzer Pioneer groups upgraded with the grenade launcher, and then we have two of our Panzer Grenadier veterancy with extra unit upgraded. So we have six per squad. Uh, this one has the light machine. I think they both have the light machine gun upgrade. They do. And I guess their anti-tank grenade will be our main source of anti-tank weapon for this battle. As we can't call in any tank. We can call in another armor car. Uh, but our population is max. So we probably have to do this when we lose one. And we can call down barrages. This one's quite strong. A uh, very large area effect plus line of sight. We can have Italian squads come in, but once again, population cap is going to constrain that. Strafing run, bombing run, and Panzer Storm. That's all we have here. We have a medical truck. They can provide some healing. This is basically everything we got. And we have to take down three positions and then get out of here. This river here 
I believe we cannot send infantries over. We can test that out, actually. Oh, we can. But we don't have to assault this way. We could definitely just work our way up through this position, then take the left position, and then we get access to this little crossing here to move down into this position. Or we could do a river assault. Doesn't look that easy. Barbed wire is all across. This might be the only weak point I see, given that there's a little bit of fencing right here. Definitely a defensive position here of enemy troops, just by the look of things. Uh, but not much to play around with. So we're going to be pretty careful as we move up. And we'll be taking our, our tactical pauses. The there are some bazookas. Are so attack them at a safe distance. Ah, Field Marshal. We have a new title. Vehicles as well. And that's definitely true. So... Rommel got promoted after the capture of Tobruk, which makes total sense. He was also sick and had to be flown back into Germany to get treated. Uh, he would return for the Battle of Alamein and then go back once the Americans landed out west. Uh, not exactly doing well health-wise. I'm going to grab that gun. We'll take a bazooka when we can. And just in case it's dangerous, we'll push up our vehicles to get some vision medical vehicle can kind of stay behind and we're gonna push up to the edge here we're not gonna garrison at this location we're just gonna keep moving up we got enemies we got enemies left and right so cancel that order target that group cancel that order we can't pick up guns right now we need to flush them out. Maybe we just pop into the garrison here. If they have tanks and pop the building, then we're definitely in trouble. But hopefully that's not the case. Mm, that's okay. We can pop over here. They can still go up here. Assuming we'll be able to kick them out quickly. That location's fine. We'll use the truck as cover. As we move up, they have a lot of infantry. All right, the building can actually garrison two groups. So why don't we also go in? We'll take this position. They're getting killed. What are they doing? And what are you guys doing? You guys are garrisoning, you guys are garrisoning, yeah. I've received word from our signals battalion. The British patrol is on its way back. We must finish our business before they get here. I'll flush them out. Alright, we're gonna keep pushing in. Looks like we can grab an anti-tank gun. Pop them out. Fall in to me. We're gonna have to move up. Support our vehicles. Pop them out. I don't want to approach that group. I feel like we're gonna get hit by whoever's garrison over there. They can pick up the gun. Let's go, go, go. Let's just ignore that group. They're dead. Tanker. Could we throw a grenade at the tanker? And just explode the troop? We'll get into cover and then we'll throw it. Drive it up to here. What are these on the ground? Flamethrower? Bazooka? Okay. Okay, we're gonna just flank up. You guys just keep moving. Grenade! Alright, flush them out of their cover. Fix the vehicle.
All right, medical truck, get over here. They have a tank, they have a tank, they have a tank. Wait, their tank is not manned. Hold on, battlefield is getting a little messy. So we know there's a few things here we don't want to deal with. They're over here. We have some units in the back here that's not doing too much. I could grab the anti-tank gun, use that, but we also have a bazooka in there. So maybe we don't need to use that. This side feels like it's been pushed. I'm gonna drive it behind the walls here. I'm gonna send them in behind. We'll grab the munition and then follow. What about the heavy machine gun? I don't think they need it. We're gonna grab that and then grab this. Oh, we can't grab it, right? It's not the right unit. Okay, let's queue this up. We'll grab. No one can grab it, huh? We'll grab that. Grab that. And then head over here. We'll keep repairing it. They'll move up. We'll just wipe this unit out here. Alright, they're killed. They grabbed it. Keep flushing this way. Grab the bazooka. See if we can, we can make a mortar team out of them. Or not. We don't need this one. Just want the two munitions. Push this vehicle over. Alright, we made ourselves a weapon team. weapon team here, heavy machine gun team. And then you guys can become. A flamethrower team? Alright, we got a heavy machine gun. There's a tank here. That's the thing I'm worried about. Is it not... It's not functioning? Alright, alright. We got this guy. We'll destroy that. Hit our cap. Grab that. Grab that. Anti-tank weapon. All right, we got everything. What we could do is get some fuel. What do you need? All right, let's get our vehicles. We need to move. Oh, there's another tanker to be destroyed here. Another tanker to be destroyed here. Gonna divide a group here to take the heavy machine gun. Panzer Pioneer standing. Get moving. Quick march. We're receiving you. Eager to get started. Grab your gear. We're heading out. Panzer Grenadiers standing by. Wait, they're not. They're not doing it. Panzer Grenadiers confirmed. Salvage that vehicle. They're Stripping not doing the it. Down. Now they are. I don't think we need to take these. We have enough weapon teams. Now we're going to assault the second village. Let's organize our forces here real quick.
Get us some fuel. It's a scouting vehicle, we're fine. Where's our other... Ah, there it is. Orders incoming. Looking for anything useful. Take a moment. Catch your breath. And then join us over here. We'll make a push. Alright, push. Where's our mortar team? Gonna need you to hit that. Machine guns get ready. The vehicle provide a little cover for them. Is that a heavy machine gun? Okay, let's see. Why don't you guys grab that? You have problems, we have answers. Actually, they can stay. Because I can use them to build stuff later. Let's Use this group to grab the gun. Our right, water team is ready. The tanks aren't really doing anything. Drive it up, drive it up, move it with it. Alright, we got weapon teams now. Machine guns going. The other group we can flank. Are they done? Yeah, they're done. They're moving. We can come in from the flank here. Now, we do have some resources we could use. Maybe a strafing run. They're trying to destroy that. Let's move in. They're mostly behind the house here. Set up the machine gun here. Ooh, ooh. That was what I was worried about. We're getting hit. We're getting hit. Move, move, move. That group's getting murdered. You're taking forever. Oh, we lost the entire group. That is not good. Yeah, we can outgun that group. Okay, I think we just drive our way in. They're destroyed. Gotta take out the tanks. Let's kill that. Let's kill that enemy enemy general. Kill this. We have, which is not too much. Kind of regret grabbing the mortar. Not anywhere close to being efficient enough. 
We need more firepower. What do you need? Not the machine gun. Do we have any anti-tank gun? Flamethrower? There we go. We took a bazooka. Take a bazooka. And then take an anti-tank gun. Take another bazooka. Then we should have enough. Grab the AT. Let's put it to use. Anti-tank weapon just for us. Catlin this war on our ass. Driver back in your seat. Medical vehicle moving to location. Infantry vehicles ready, waiting for them to grab all their gun. The signals battalion reports that the British patrol is halfway back. Proceed with caution and speed. All right, smash. Oh, we haven't destroyed this yet. Also have to destroy this. We're just gonna move through quickly. Wipe this out, wipe this out. All right, let's go. Last location. Working on it. Fuel tanks. Can we not put the vehicle right next to the fuel tanks? Oh, they're everywhere. We could strafe them. Not a bad angle. There we go. Got them. Now that's a raid. Hit and run, hit and run. Our main objective is now complete. We must now start heading to the rendezvous point. We haven't destroyed this. Can we do that real quick? Team? Listen to me. Is he panicking? Every vehicle in this outpost has now been destroyed. All right, team, let's go, go, go. Unturned by the Africa Corps. Weapon team here. Rendezvous. Let's go. Let's go. All right, you capture this. We're moving with the units that can actually fight. Alright, we're going here. We only have three pop cap, so we can't really capture anything. Or we can't really increase any units. Oh, someone died. Our mortar team retreated off the field. No, we lost the vehicle. Mines? That's the only thing I can think of that would kill us so fast. I thought we got fuel. I guess we're just not allowed to get fuel here. I'm gonna call in a squad. Wait, we lost both of our tanks? Where? Here? Was there a minefield here or something? Oh no, they evacuated out of the map. They got there first. Why did we call him in? We called him in to retreat all the way across the map. It's okay, they move fast. That's their that's their one unique thing. Quick march. Be there in no time. Bersaglieri can handle it. Bersaglieri I mean, we're technically escaping with as many personnel as we can. Extra personnel here. Pick up the base. Come on. Movetevi. Get those legs moving. Why march when you can run? Right, boys? Pick up the base. Come on. Yeah, so they were not destroyed. They basically got out. All troops accounted for. Now follow me out of this hell. Do I get extra points for eight extra cap?
The British supply line will be severely impacted without this fuel. Let us see if they can handle it as well as we did in the past. They will be fine. The Americans are coming. In early July, Australian forces attacked an intelligence outpost that had been relaying every detail of British troop movements to the Germans. Roman's reputation had grown larger than the man himself. But now, the Allies had finally solved the mystery of his apparent genius. However, the SS had arrived in North Africa with orders to follow Rommel and extend the persecution of Jews east, across Egypt, and beyond. The Allies would get their breakthrough, but it would come too late for my family. Alrighty, so it seems like our narrator might have died. Uh, we did lose one unit. There was a Panzer Pioneer that did get picked off. Uh, we had only two of them. Uh, they were kind of exposed and got killed. Aside from that, pretty simple, straightforward mission. Finish the raid and get out of there. Destroy the tankers. Destroy the vehicles that's abandoned, not even crewed. We didn't have the firepower to even take out a tank that's parked. That goes to show how bad things are for the army that we got. But it was still... A uh, pretty neat little mission, and we're building up to the final one as we will have the Battle of El Alamein next time. So until then, bye!